Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today we're gonna be trying these new stiletto dual forms together and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own glittery poly gel. So let's get started! So for today's video I didn't want to bore you with the preparation of the nails so I went ahead and I did all the filing and the cuticle removal and now we're just gonna be applying a base coat to all of the nails and these are the dual forms that we're going to be using today as you can see they are stiletto ones and they have a really nice uh, shape that really helps people with uh, straight nails like mine apply the forms better so I will show you how you can pick the right form for your nails now and as you can see this form is looking like it could fit but on the side there was a spot that was not fitting this one is slightly bigger and it looks like it fits from sidewall to sidewall but it is not optimal because as you can see I will be applying the poly gel in a way that will need more space so we're going to the even bigger size and here you can see it goes a bit uh, outside the sidewalls of the nail and this is what you need to go for you need it to be bigger so that it can squish the product down enough to still have a good structure of the nail so you're just going to be repeating the same process to pick all of the forms for each individual nail And for the poly gel today, we're going to be using this clear poly gel by Christian Artesio. And I also wanted to show you this cute little dabmit dish that I bought. So uh, recently from AliExpress, I got these nice organizer boxes and I managed to organize all of my glitters. So I will be using many of these colors today as you probably saw in the thumbnail. And for the first nail, I'm going to be using this beautiful pink purple kind of glitter. So we're going to be grabbing the dual form and applying a nice coat of poly gel and then with a wet brush we will be applying the glitter straight onto the poly gel. And for this first nail I'm going to be mixing the poly gel with the glitter with the brush and after you have applied it to the entire nail you will press the dual form lightly onto your nail until it adheres on all sides and then you will go ahead and cure it and this is the most satisfying part removing the dual form in order to make it a little bit easier to remove i usually pinch the sides of the nail and then as you will see it comes off a lot easier As you can see, it's a beautifully formed nail, it's pretty strong. So then we're going to be repeating the same process for all of the nails. Once again, we're going to be adding a nice quantity of poly gel onto the nail. And with a wet brush, we will be transferring glitter from the pot straight onto the poly gel. Now for this nail, I wanted to show you a little bit of an easier way to mix the glitter with a poly gel. And it is with the, the help of the cuticle pusher tool. So you will be mixing the poly gel together to incorporate the glitter into the clear poly gel and then you will smooth it onto the dual form with your brush and apply it onto the nail. Once again, you will pinch the sides of the nail and then you will remove the dual form. For the next nail, we're going to be using this beautiful glitter that has both pink and purple or blue elements to it. It's really, really pretty and reflective. So once again, following the exact same method, we're going to be mixing the poly gel with the glitter, adding more glitter if you need it, and smoothing it onto the dual form with your brush. Now, after I applied this nail, um, I saw that the underside had squished out a lot of product. That's a problem that I caused because I added a lot of poly gel. So I will just wet my brush and just fix the underside by pushing away the poly gel very, very lightly. Oh, it's so satisfying to remove the dual forms. I just love it. <laughs> For the next nail, I really, really wanted to go with this beautiful dark blue glitter it's so so pretty 
and it is a very fine glitter so it mixed really well with the poly gel and I also wanted to go with this white reflective one which in the light it reflects a kind of a blue shade Once again, I smoothed it with my brush and then I went ahead and applied it onto the nail and cured it. And here is another nail done. And now we're gonna move on to the last nail, which is the thumb. And for this, I chose a glitter called Sea Spray by the Glitter Pot Girls. And it is such a beautiful color. I just adore this and I was looking for an excuse to use it. <laughs> and it's finally, it's time to shine. Literally, look at how shiny it is. It's so pretty. So yeah, I added a good amount of it onto the nail once again. And then I started pushing it around with my brush applying it to the nail, fixing the underside, and then removing the duoform. So here they are before the filing and they are looking really nice, but it is time to perfect the stiletto shape and to also buff the surface so that it's smooth. After that, we will grab the Vanalitsa nail glue that I always use for gemstones and some of my favorite rhinestones to add to the nail as well as some caviar beads and these beautiful purple gems. So here is kind of the first reveal of the glitter and oh my gosh, I really really like them. They're so, so sparkly and cute. I love them. And for this design, you definitely don't want to forget to add a layer of top coat to the underside of the nails to make them sparkle even more. So for the first nail that I'm going to be applying the gemstone glue to, I decided that it should be the ring finger. And on this one, I'm going to be adding um, some chunkier uh, rhinestones as well as the big purple one, which is so pretty. Oh, I love it. So I just... Once again, freestyled it completely. <laughs> I just started adding different colored rhinestones and I wanted it to fit the theme of the purple and the blue. So I chose lilac and dark purple rhinestones as well as some sil silver caviar beads around the rhinestones. I am so happy with how this turned out. I really like it. And now for the pointer finger, I'm going to be pretty much outlining the nail with caviar beads. And I saw this a few times online and I really liked it and I wanted to try it. So here we are. I just added the nail glue and some top coat and then just outlined with the caviar beads. And for the middle finger, I will be adding some rhinestones, kind of like a cuticle on the cuticle line. And thankfully I had similar colored rhinestones for the thumb, so I also added some on the cuticle line. And last but not least, as always, we're going to be adding cuticle oil to nourish the cuticles. And here's the reveal. I'm so in love with these. I really hope I helped you guys get a better grip of how to use dual forms. These ones are really, really easy to use and I would definitely recommend this for beginners. Let me know if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more content every Tuesday, leave a comment telling me what you thought and leave a like on the video and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another video. Bye!